I'm going to try a little bit of a longer video with this project. This one all started with designing and strength testing 3D printed mounts for what's going to go inside this display case. Once I got that figured out, then I could start milling up this slab that I got from Wonderful Wood so that I could start really figuring out how I was going to make this into a display case. Once I got it flattened, I could head over to the bandsaw to cut these thick pieces of walnut in half. Then uh, once I got them sliced up, I moved back over to the planer to make sure that I had everything a consistent width. Once I got all those boards flattened and perfect, I could square them up and then cut them to the correct width. Then I headed over to my miter saw to cut my miter joints for this display case. And then I cut a slot for the glass that is going to fit into the display case and show you what's inside and there. Next, I moved on to the router table to router out a groove in the back piece for the back of the display case to fit into. And I got everything sanded up on the inside and mixed up some Rubio Monaco Pure and applied that into the inside before I glued it up so that everything was finished and looking good and I didn't have to worry about trying to get finished into all those corners. Then I moved on to cutting the glass piece that's gonna go in the display case. Once I got that cut up, I could glue up the sides and glass into place using some tight bond three or tight bond two dark wood. Once I got everything glued up, I reinforced my joints using splines. I cut the splines out using my DeWalt biscuit joiner and then trim them to size with my pole saw. Once I sanded all of that down, I could mix up some more Rubio Monocoat and get that applied to the outside walnut pieces. I really love the way Rubio Monocoat looks on walnut, especially with a little bit of a cherry accent like I have with the splines. Next, I cut up and painted the backer piece that's going to hold the display piece that my customer had me build this for. I had it added a hinge on the back to make it a little bit easier to open and close um, just to make sure that you didn't need any extra hands. Got this freeze installed with the custom mounts that I built. And I am absolutely in love with the way this looks. The curly walnut that I got from Wonderful Wood is just gorgeous. Let me know what you think of this one down in the comments. This was actually a Christmas present for one of my client's mothers. And she loved it.